many times have you heard the rhyme, sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite? If you're like me, probably too many to count. The truth is, bed bugs are no joke, and in recent years there has been an epidemic of them across North America. People are traveling more, so there is more risk of spreading and... We used to use chemicals that were much stronger, now we're using more target species specific uh, pesticides that aren't killing the bed bugs. So there's a number of reasons why, but bed bugs are here and they're here to stay. Finding and getting rid of bed bugs is Michael Goldman's goal. He and his bed bug sniffing dogs, Cody and Radar, are on a mission to help people get a good night's sleep. Cody has also had expert training. He spent two months at the Florida Canine Academy. But how do you actually train a dog for this type of job? Well, part of the training is proprietary, but uh, for the most part, uh, licorice or cocaine. If something has an odor, you can train a dog to discriminate that specific odor. Uh, insects have what's called pheromones, and if you don't know what a pheromone is, it, is that every insect has one. That's how a male moth finds a female moth in the middle of the woods. The moth will zero in on an odor from the female and they will mate, and that's how they continue the, uh, the moth. Um, the same thing with bed bugs. So I take live bed bugs and I train the dogs. So my dogs at three months old were imprinted with bed bugs and they knew that when they came across that odor, they would stop and sit. And as the training goes on, you move the vial, let's say further away, maybe not in a clear sight. So the dog will, you know, be using his sight but his nose, and eventually what you want to do is remove sight completely from the equation. Cody and Michael have worked for property management companies, long-term healthcare facilities, and hotels. He says the problem is on the rise, so it's key that Cody and Radar know what to look for, or in this case, smell for. Slowly, slowly, here we go, come on. So our, our dogs are trained on live bed bugs and viable eggs, and uh, unfortunately, bed bugs only feed on mammalian blood, and the only one who, uh, and my dogs need to be trained on live, live obviously, to keep them alive, I have to do something, so I take a vial, I'll take the vials, plural, and I will put them on my arm and let the dog, let the bed bugs feed through a membrane and, uh, until they're sated and, and that lasts them for a while. And I have to keep them alive, there's no other way around it. Controlling and eliminating bed bugs is not easy. They are very resilient and an adult bug can live up to a year without eating. They also hide everywhere, in nooks and crannies. The eggs are almost always impossible to detect because they're the size of a grain of salt. The bugs are tiny too, about the size of an apple seed. To find these nasty little things, Goldman takes his dog through a building or a room. If Cody demonstrates an interesting behavior, it's pretty likely there are bed bugs present. Good boy, did you find that? So I go through their bedroom and I say, ma'am, do you sleep on the right side of the bed? And she says, how do you know that? And I said, well, watch. And I take him out and I walk him through again. The left side, the dog doesn't alert at all. We walk around the right side of the bed, stops and put his paw on the pillow. There's a couple types of searches that, that, uh, that scent detection dogs do. One is a guided um, search. Um, where, where you basically, you're, the dog's on a leash and you're leading him through the certain areas and you touch certain areas and you get him to where you're touching, that's where you want his nose. The closer he gets, the, the, the closer he gets to the odor, if there is one and he can find it. The other one is an open search where basically I'll just let radar off the leash and I'll say go find it and he will, uh, he'll go jump on couches and stuff like that. Now when it comes to bed bugs, they're not actually considered a health hazard but they do have the same piercing, sucking mouth parts as a mosquito. Here, Michael demonstrates what a bite may look like. You're not gonna see anything there, but you will see the two bites on either side. Yeah. A lot of people don't react, and this is one of the problems that we're having in, let's say, multi-unit dwellings, apartment buildings, um, where, uh, or, or uh, dormitories, where uh, someone is getting bitten but doesn't know about it. The infestation gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and until it's now, it's a huge infestation. It's spreading to other units. People come over and visit, and now we're taking them back with them. This person's oblivious because Normally they'll, they'll hide behind the headboard or the mattress or the box spring and come out at night to feed. Well, if you don't clean behind there on a regular basis, and how many of us really remove the headboard and clean behind the head of the bed? Bed bugs also reproduce rapidly. A female can lay 200 to 500 in her lifetime. There are other factors as well. As noted earlier, there has been an increase in international travel, and DDT, a powerful insecticide, is no longer legally available. The key is to be vigilant with cleaning and be aware of the things you pick up at garage sales or on the curb. 
or you can bring in Michael and his team, because after all... Cody is, is, is the perfect dog. I, I wish I could meet the person who gave him up. That we, I, I, I would hug him, I would say thank you. He, he's an amazing dog. He's, he's more of a per person dog than a, than a dog dog is. Um, he loves our family to death. Uh, he's very, he's protective verbally. He's just, he's an amazing dog. He, he works well. He's, uh, children go up to him while we're doing inspections and, and, and he's so patient with them. He's just, he's the perfect dog. We really lucked out with him.